My respected elders, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you. The topic of my talk is the importance of Quran. Allah drew the believers' attention to the Holy Quran about the importance of Quran, of one life's and deeds. He says, O oh, you who believe, fear Allah by doing all He has ordered and by abstaining from all He has forbidden, as He should be feared and only die as a state of Islam, as a Muslim, with complete submission to Allah. And he said, Worship your Rabb until you die. The order in these verses is to fear Allah, worship Him alone, and continue till one dies so that good end of one life's and deeds could be achieved. The Prophet ﷺ informed us that there are some people who strive in doing obedience for a long time of their lives, but shortly before they die, they commit sin and disobediences and end their lives at such a state that they are admitted to hellfire. Ali ibn Abi Talwid radiallahu anh, who used to fear two things, the long hope and following desires. The Prophet wasallam said, the long hope makes you forget all about the hereafter and following desires hinders you from the way of truth. Is example, Islamic monotheism, good deeds, obedience, etc. Whoever hopes to meet his Lord, he should do good deeds and not join anyone else in the worship of his Lord. Allah said in Surah Luqman, O oh, people, fear your Lord. Fear a day when no father will help his son, nor the son will be helpful to his father at all. Surely the promise of Allah is true, so the worldly life must not deceive you, nor should you ever be deceived about Allah by the deceiver. O oh, Muslims, this is a defying moment in human life, so the prophets used to recommend their followers to be careful and win the good conclusion. Allah said, telling what Prophet Yusuf said in the Quran, Make me die as a Muslim and join me with the righteous. Our messenger, peace be upon him, said, And once spoke the word of the heed in the last moment of their life, they will enter paradise. We must do many things in order to win the good conclusion. Some of these things are, Number one, he must fear from Allah. Two, he must be faithful. Three, he must not follow long hope and following desires. For he must he must visit the graves for they remind you of death. Five, visit the righteous people as it awakens the heart and encourages the soul to do righteous deeds. Six, no showing off. Any good deed performed with an intention of showing off or pleasing people is not acceptable. Number seven, he must show obedience to Allah for all conditions. Number eight, he must show patience and never give up and not commit suicide. Those who commit suicide have chose disobedience and incurred Allah's anger on himself. Number nine, he, Muslims must do repentance without any delay. Our messenger, peace be upon him, said, O oh mankind, repent to Allah. I repent 100 times daily. We ask Allah to guide us to the right end of our lives and deeds. Jazakallah khair, barakallah